uh, work 24-7, uh, your attributes are just different. And you have to make that judgment because of, uh, based on those attributes. But don't allow yourself to be discouraged because you see someone else uh, doing uh, things at a faster rate than you. Because your circumstances are different. And the discouragement, discouragement is one of the great, uh, the great difficulties that people face. Is that uh, if you were to go out and borrow a million dollars uh, to invest in the business, and you go to your family, and you go to your friends, and you go to the bank, and you collect a million dollars to invest in the business. You can't wake up one morning and say, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do this anymore. It's, it doesn't seem to be working out for me. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to walk away because your financial life is ruined. Perhaps you ruin the financial life of uh, your family and friends as well, let alone that the bank's going to hound you for the rest of your life. Is that uh, you can't say that and so that you punch through difficult circumstances because you know what it means uh, of failure. There is a loss that will occur there that will impact you <coughs> in a tremendous way. That loss occurs in this business as well, but not because of investment that is put into the business. The loss occurs in the loss of upside. Is that if you wake up one morning and say, oh, I don't know, uh, I don't think I'm going to pursue this any, uh, anymore. There is loss that occurs. And that loss is represented that those people that you got started move on without you. Uh, <coughs> uh, Monty has uh, a person in his, uh, his downline. Uh, his name is David Rose, I believe. Uh, it's been quite a few years. And David Rose became an executive, and he had a woman by the name of uh, Betty Sung who uh, came to him, and he sponsored Betty in the business right before uh, uh, he quit the business. Betty Sung uh, uh, didn't care whether David Rose quit the business or not. She had continued to pursue the business, and she became a dominant player here in the United States. And then uh, when the, the business uh, was exported into Taiwan, her group uh, dominates uh, Taiwan. And now that it has gone into China, her group uh, uh, dominates China as well. And so Betty Sung has made millions and millions and millions and millions of uh, dollars, and David Rose does not know. And we need to call him. <laughs> you know? But just because he quit uh, doesn't mean that there was an opportunity for Betty. The opportunity for Betty was just immense. Uh, but uh, uh, he, for whatever reason, chose not to pursue uh, the business. And that is the downside of uh, not uh, going forward with the business. Is that you don't have any, any loss in terms of your investment in the business because there's very little investment to expenditure. But there's a loss of upside that especially in these types of, of times uh, that that upside loss can be equally damaging. David Rose has lost millions and millions and millions of dollars. Probably extends into tens of millions of dollars because he chose not to go forward after he started his group. And the group went on without him. And so what that means is that you have to guard your attitude because it's easy to quit. Because there is no downside. There seems to be no downside to quitting. But there is a downside to quitting. And that is the loss of the upside. And so make a commitment. Don't make a decision each and every day to do the business. If every morning you get up and say, okay, I'll pursue the business today. And okay, I'll do it today. Because if you make that decision each and every day, it's only a matter of time before you wake up one morning and say, I'm not going to do the business. Make a single decision because you will wear yourself out making multiple decisions each and every day. Uh, there is a woman in the business who was a lapis for 17 years. 17 years. Uh, life circumstances did not arrange themselves perfectly for her as she uh, stayed active in the business in the last three or four years that business has just exploded and she has millions and millions of dollars of revenue that now comes into that business uh, and that in part it was the rearrangement of her life circumstances but it was also the accumulation of skills that she developed over that period of time <coughs> And that we, when I, I look at her and I think of what the potential loss for her as an individual and for her family, if she would have, in that period of time, said, well, I, you know, I'm just going to quit. Don't make a single decision. Don't make repetitious decisions because it's only...
all the amount of time until you make the wrong decision. Do your due diligence and make that decision and then come forward. <clears throat> Understand just how valuable time is right now. Uh, I know that many of you don't understand this as you sit here, but uh, you have you have you have chairs that have great value uh, uh, for you right now because of those elements that we talked about. I can remember in 1989 uh, I was given a meeting somewhere I can't remember where it is where a person popped up uh, from the meeting and pretty much ran out uh, of the room. I said, "Oh, I offended someone. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm really boring." Uh, and so that after the meeting, I, I was surprised to see him come uh, come back in. And he came up to me and said, I just couldn't take any more. I went out and I talked to the person at the, the desk. I talked to the bellman. Uh, here's, here's the bellman right now. Uh, you know, can you, uh, can you uh, say a few words to him? Uh, and so that there is a moment where you will understand truly how uh, large the opportunity is. And you need to be driven by that, uh, by that fact. Is that uh, when you understand it, it's worth the time that you invest in it, and that we are in those circumstances uh, right now. And so make that decision to go forward and uh, arrange yourself so that you can capitalize on that. Okay, so you're a new distributor. Uh, you've made your list. You've got 250 people on your list. Uh, you get to the point of being a lapis. And this is something that everyone needs probably to understand. What happens oftentimes is people become lapises and they come to a screeching halt. And the reason is that they come to the end of their 200 uh, people. And it comes faster than you think. You think 200 people is a long list. It's not, because this is how that list will work. You will sponsor your sister. And your sister will say, don't talk to your brother. Uh, I will talk to uh, 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 you know, uh, the, the, your, our brother, and don't talk to mom, I will get your mom. And so that you lose your list in chunks, because uh, <laughs> that person will lay claim. You'll sponsor someone uh, down at work, will then lay claim to everybody down at work. You'll sponsor someone in the neighborhood, that then will lay claim to everybody in the neighborhood. And so that suddenly, boom, your list being uh, uh, driven off in chunks, and you come to the end of it, you're laughing, you're starting to see the potential, and yet you can't make it work. This is one of the problems that are associated with a list of 200, narrowing uh, that, uh, uh, that list. Expand your list out and develop the ability to talk to people outside of your warm market. That's hard for many. That's hard. That's where fear of rejection starts to enter into your life in a very significant uh, sort of way. Uh, but if you develop the habit of just sharing uh, the business, uh, then you will be better off. Women, quite frankly, are better than this than men. Women tend to be better shares uh, than uh, to men. Men are sales guys. They tend to be a little bit more, okay, I'm going to talk to people, I'm going to set this that number of people. Probably the ideal is somewhere in between to where you have the habit of sharing what is taking place and uh, it's something that you develop consistently. Because if you do that and you develop that attribute, you will never come to that point where you're a lapis. You have ability to drive the business forward, but you seem to have come to the end of your growth rate because you've lost the ability to sponsor people because you've consumed your 200 people. Don't do that. Right from the beginning, develop slowly the ability to talk to people casually or perhaps even in a sales environment uh, so that you are not limited uh, by your 200 uh, people. 